In the first part of lesson eight, we're going to build a decision tree using Beyond Ying's Tree Plan Excel add-in. So the first you want to do is you want to click on this folder link, and you're going to see tree plan slash master.zip. Click on the folder, and you'll see tree plan master.zip. What I want to do is I want to right-click on it. I want to extract all, and I want to extract to the folder that you put all your materials in. I'm going to double click on the, the course number. And then I'm going to select folder. And then I'm going to click extract. In this folder named after the course number, you'll see tree plan there. I'll double click on that. This file here is the Microsoft Excel add-in that we're going to install in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to copy the path to copy a folder path. Click on the space up here and then press control C. In a Mac, you'll have to just find the folder. And then in Excel, you have to click on file, options, add-ins. Make sure Excel add-ins is selected right there. Click go. Now I've already installed this once, so you see it right there. I'm gonna pretend I don't see that. I'm gonna click browse. And then here, what I'm gonna do to make it easy on myself, instead of looking for the folder that contains the macro add-in, I'm gonna paste the file path. It'll take me right to my Excel add-in. Check it, click okay. Got to fix something here. So I closed out Excel and it looks like it worked this time. We have a tab up here. If you don't see this, email your instructor to maybe get some help installing it. If you can't get it to work, you may have to do this with paper and pencil. And if that's the case, make sure you tell your instructor. So what we need to do now is we need to copy this table in. I'm gonna paste it right here. It looks like I gotta move this over. These are the column headers. I'm gonna move probability of theft. I'm gonna break it in two. I'm gonna double click on this, double click on that. I'm gonna shorten the name of the decision to D1, repair, D2, install, and D3, nothing, do nothing. Then I'll change this to expected loss, and I'll delete that. Then I'll double click that line between the A and the B columns to auto fit. I'll change this to black with white bold font. I'll change this to light gray. Now let's see if these are actually numbers. To do that, highlight them and then click number and then add a decimal place. Do the same here. Okay, now we can build our decision tree. The first decision is to repair our alarm system. We have an alarm system at this jewelry shop and they've had steps that have averaged $15,000. So they can spend $5,000 to repair the old system. That'll bring down the probability of theft to 0 0.05. They can spend $20,000 to install a state-of-the-art alarm system, reducing the probability of theft to 0 0.01, or they can keep the old system and then keep the probability of theft at 0.40. Click on cell E1, click on tree plan, click on new. We have three decisions, we need three branches. Decision one is repair. Decision two is install a new system. Decision three is do nothing. The cost, notice I'm clicking the cell, and then I'm pressing equals. The cost of decision one is $5,000. The cost of installing a new system is $20,000. And the cost of doing nothing is $0. Now this is a cost minimization problem. Because of that, I need to go up to options and change it to minimize cost. At the end of these nodes, we need to put a set of branches. We're gonna change this end of node 
to an event with two branches. We're going to change this node to an event with two branches. And we're going to change this node to an event with two branches. This is going to be, event one is going to be theft. And event two is going to be no theft. I'm going to copy that to event four and event seven. I'm going to copy this to event five and event eight. The probability of theft is not 0.5. The probability of theft is 0.05. The probability of no theft is equal to one minus the 0.05. For the repair, the probability of theft is 0.05. The probability of no theft, that's the complement of theft. So one minus 0.05. For decision two, install a new system, the probability is 0.01. So I'm gonna type equal, and then I'm gonna go over and grab that probability and press enter. So the probability of theft for install is 0.01. The complement of that is no theft. That probability is one minus the 0 0.01. The probability of theft for doing nothing, 0.4. No theft is the complement of theft. So this probability is one minus 0.4. Now there's one last thing we have to do here. If there's a theft, we expect to lose $15,000. If there's no theft, we're going to expect $0 in loss. Again, if there's a theft, we expect to lose $15,000. If there's no theft, we expect to lose nothing. If we have a theft, we expect to lose $15,000. If there's no theft, we lose nothing. Now, let me auto-fit this. And our decision tree is complete. Now let's look at the components of the decision tree. Why is this $20,000? Well, decision one costs us $5,000. If theft happens, then we expect to lose $15,000. This plus that is $20,000. If no theft happens and we did the repair, we had the $5,000 to zero to get $5,000. So this is just the sum of those two. And this is just that, right? It seems kind of redundant, right? So this sums those two, and this is just that. Where does this value come from? Essentially what's going on here is some product. It takes this $20,000, multiplies it by its probability. It takes this $5,000, and multiplies by its probability, 0.95. And that's what you get here. Then down here, if the decision was to install a new alarm system, that costs $20,000. If there's a theft, these two add up to $35,000. If there's no theft, this and zero adds up to $20,000. This value here is just this, probability times that outcome plus this probability times that outcome. And then down here, if we do nothing, that costs is zero. If we have a theft, that's $15,000. If we have no theft, we have zero plus zero, which is zero. And so this value here is just 0 0.6 times zero plus 0 0.4 times 15,000. This is the minimum value of the three because this is a cost minimization problem, right? So it's just the minimum value there. So the best decision is this one, D1. Now you could add a component to this. You could say, if that equals that, then output that else, comma, if this 
equals that, then the best decision is to decision two. Else, the best decision is do nothing. And then you can close off the parentheses. Uh, you can close off the if statements by typing two parentheses. And so you could add that component to it, right? Our best decision is to repair. The expected cost of the repair is $5,750. That expected cost is less than installing a new system or doing nothing. Okay, so let's fill in the information over here. Regarding decision one, it will cost $5,000 if the theft does not occur. Which has a probability of what? If the theft does not occur, the probability is 0.95. But we'll cost what? If the theft occurs and we made decision one, it's $20,000. We don't need the comma or the decimal place or the dollar sign. It has a probability of 0 0.05. The expected cost of this decision is $5,750. If decision two is made, it will cost what if theft does not occur? If theft does not occur, this costs $20,000, which has a probability of what? 0.99. We're almost certain theft will not occur if we put an alarm system. It'll cost $35,000 if theft occurs, which is not very likely, a probability of 0 0.01. The expected cost of this decision is this value here. This is some product of those and these, of this pair and that pair. Regarding decision three, do nothing. It will cost blank dollars if the theft does not occur. Well, that's zero, right? We did nothing. Nothing was stolen. That's zero dollars. The probability of that happened is 0.6. If theft does occur, it'll cost us $15,000. And that probability is 0.4. And the expected cost, that is $6,000. Decision one, this is the smallest of the expected costs. Decision one minimizes the gemstone treasure's expected cost. The firm should spend $5,000 to repair the old system. 